Good evening everybody. Well, you wouldn't know it's evening, but it is currently quarter past seven in the evening and I've just had my food shop delivered. I am back after having a couple of weeks off. So let's crack on and show you what we've got this week. Sorry that it might be quite dark in here. As I said, it is the evening. So um, the lighting might not be best. Um, so firstly, I've got these barbecue griddlers. Um, I got two lots of those. They're on offer for a pound still. And they're really, really nice. My girls really enjoy these. Um, and if you cook them just right, they are really, really tender. Um, they can be dry if you overcook them, but they're really nice. Um, then I got... Actually, I think I've got, I thought I took these off because I'm sure Martin's got a pack of these in the freezer already. But anyway, again, pound. So I've got some garlic and herb kievs and cheese and ham kievs for me. Then I've got these cauliflower che cheese grills. Sophie tried one. I had some yesterday for my lunch and she actually ate it. My other two won't eat them, but I like them and they're just quick and easy to put with something if I just want something quick to eat. Um, then I've got the usual red top and blue top milk. Um, then here I've got some more frozen sausages. Um, and this, I fancied some onion rings. So I've got some onion rings. I think the girls will eat them. Bit hit and miss, but we haven't had them for a while, so they might enjoy those. Then that's everything for frozen. Then this week I thought, there's only four in here, but I thought I'd get these smoothies for the girls. Um, still full of cold so I thought get a bit of extra fruit into them this way so I know it's only two each Sophie won't have one but the two older ones will but yeah so I thought I'd buy them those as a treat this week because I don't normally buy them because they're an added expense I think they're £1.50 I know that doesn't sound much but in my eyes it is then three for £10 I got king prawns on the 3D um I don't know I might just do them in a sandwich um or I'll put them in a jacket potato. I don't ever buy the sauce. I just make that myself. It's so easy. It's just mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together. And you've got the nice seafood sauce. So that's that. Then I've got the usual boneless thigh fillets there. I'm either going to do a korma. Because Ava has asked for a curry. She really enjoys the curry at school. But doesn't tend to eat one if I make one at home but we'll give it another go we're actually over my mum's tomorrow to watch bonfire night and mum's doing a curry so we'll see how it goes so I've got the jar of sauce over here if she doesn't eat it tomorrow then the chicken will be used for oh someone's crying for chicken for heaters I have got more chicken in the freezer so that will def definitely be two meals of the week then I've got roast chicken here. It's just a cook in the bag one. It's tiny. Oh, sorry about Lulu. I don't know what she's upset about. Um, Mum is in there. She'll sort her out. Martin's told me he's off Sunday evening. So I usually like to do as a roast. But I'm not sure if this chicken will do <laughs> all of us. Because it is a tiny, tiny chicken. So we'll see. We might just have to... I've got pork chops in the freezer, actually. We could pull a couple of them out and put, put that with a roast. So there's that. Then here I've got some coronation chicken. I haven't had this for ages, but I love this in a sandwich. Or again, it could go in a jacket potato. Then I've got two lots of honey roast ham. You get 10 slices in here, and it's it's actually really nice ham. And these were on offer for a pound, so I got two packs of that. Hopefully the dates are okay. The dates on some of the stuff I get sent through are so short, it goes out of date before we get to use it. But 15th of November is fine, yeah. So I've got two lots of that. Um, because one pack's meant to be two pounds, so I thought I might as well get two lots. Um, then I got some more cheese because we've run out of that completely this week. Um, I got some more fromage frais because Livy has been enjoying these in her packed lunchbox. Ava won't eat them, and Sophie, I don't think, is too keen. Like when I've given them to her, she only has a few mouthfuls and she's not fussed. Then on to fruit, I haven't got any vegetables at all because. I tell, I say it all the time, It fresh tends to just go to waste, so I just buy the steam bags and I've got plenty of that in the freezer at the moment, so I didn't need to replenish that this week. But on to fruit, I've got apples because Ava likes to take an apple for her break at school. Then I've got some watermelon fans and some pineapple fingers. The girls have been really enjoying pineapple, so I've been buying that recently. These go on their cold dinners or in their packed lunch boxes. 
strawberries and two lots of raspberries that I always get so that's everything for fruit I've got oranges in the fridge is that it I think that's all I've got in the fridge but I've got quite a few oranges in there and I think I've got a few raspberries left and that's about it there's the um, korma sauce I got the Patax one hopefully it's not bland I find some of these sauces are a bit bland but we'll give that one a go I haven't had it for years so um, I think the last one I bought was an Asda own korma and I didn't like it it was too bland so we'll see what that one's like see if it's a bit nicer then I got some cheese pizzas I got two as I always do I've got pepperoni slices in the fridge so the girls can add those on they always enjoy doing that I've got some plain wraps for the girls the mini ones um, I did have a pack of the larger ones and they came and they were wholemeal ones well they won't get eaten so I sent those back so I will need to go to Asda to get some big wraps but I always need to go up and replenish fruit and milk during the week anyway and bread there's the fajita kit we had a fajita kit last week and it, I bought this one smoky barbecue really really nice and it was not spicy at all it is mild but there was no kick to it either it was really really nice so I picked that up again this week Martin's not all that fussed on fajitas but I love them one of my favorite meals actually then I got some oh god they're arguing now I'm so sorry if you can hear it in the background um chocolate hazelnut crepes I got three packs of them because the girls love those and Sophie even likes it I cut it up really tiny for Sophie and she scoffs it down I'm just going to carry on through the arguing because <laughs> it's just distracting when I'm cutting in and out so um we've got some white bread two lots of the Belgian buns um I've got some Biscoff biscuits and it's got the Biscoff cream inside I got my mum to try these the other week and she's like oh they are nice really nice if you haven't tried them and they were a pound a pack if they're any more than that, I wouldn't buy them because I'm a cheapskate. Um, this was the only substitute I had. So it was meant to be the 28 pack. Um, it's in a purple bag. It's not the smart price one, but it is the Asda crisps. Uh, 28 pack. And they sent me this as a substitute. You would have thought they would have sent at least two of these, wouldn't you? So we was up in B&M when I got the message to say that was a substitute. So... Um, in B&M I just picked these up, some cheese and onion Ringos and some Roysters. Ava was happy because she loves those and they were out of stock in Asda so kind of meant to be. Then I got some more nappies for Sophie. I've got two lots of the Asda Shades Quilted. I always buy that one. I like it. It's, it's nice and soft. Two for £6. So I always buy that one and we're nearly out of toilet roll so it's time to replace that. Then down here we've got some decaf tea. I use the last, you know, you get the pack in there. I open the last pack and put it in my in my thing on the side. So it needed tea bags because we can't run out of tea bags. Um, then chocolate buttons. I've got two lots of the caramel nibbles and two lots of the ordinary buttons. We all share them as a family. Um, the girls really enjoy them actually. And these are mine and Martin's favourite. Um, then I've got some apple and mango cartons this week for pack lunches um, and then last few bits I got two packs of the iced gems um, I don't know if the girls got a look in the last night I'm not sure if Martin had scoffed them all and then I got some more laundry stuff so I've got the usual parcel this is the big one the last time I bought a small one friend just opened that small one actually but this was on offer for six pound was it six pound or six pound fifty so I got that one as it was on offer and I've been buying this each week this is actually the smaller bottle this was two pound for this one the bigger bottle is three pound fifty but it was on offer for three pound this is just the most amazing stuff um Martin when he did a haul told you about it I think um 36 washes now it won't do me 36 washes it will do me less than that um, it says it's ultra con concentrated yes it is it is really really nice um, it really makes your clothes smell amazing I can't rave about this this enough it's great anyway that is everything on this week's haul I am so sorry about the arguing in the background 
but that's family life for you. Um, let me tell you how much it came to this week. It was £82 something, I think, so we was in budget. Oh, hang on. Let me just get it up. Um, 82.32, but it'll be a little bit less because I've got those wraps. It will still be £81 something. But yeah, that's everything. Time to put it away. Um, and I will catch you in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you soon.